SuroVMD, Ruth Bader Ginsburg undergoes an IR procedure at Johns Hopkins Hospital. Fox News is reporting that Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the Supreme Court Justice, recently underwent a medical procedure at Johns Hopkins University. Based on interpretation of their story, she must have undergone an interventional radiology procedure known as a cholecystostomy tube placement or a gallbladder drainage tube placement. This is a less invasive way to treat a medical condition known as acute cholecystitis. Let's break it down. Acute means of sudden or recent onset, and cholecystitis means infection or inflammation of the gallbladder. So acute cholecystitis together literally means a recent onset of infection or inflammation of the gallbladder. So how does this happen and why does this happen? Let's start with bile. This is a liquid made in the liver and its main use is to help us break down foods that we eat, in particular fatty foods like a nice juicy ribeye steak. Bile is made in small ducts in the liver that coalesce into larger and larger still ducts until they are finally conveyed through a very large duct called the common bile duct. The common bile duct sends bile down from the liver into the gut, specifically the second portion of the duodenum, and this is the part of the gut that is just past the stomach. Here in the gut, the bile meets up with the ingested food bolus and helps us to digest fats. When bile is made but not immediately needed, it is stored in the gallbladder. This is a bag-like organ that is connected to the common bile duct. The duct that connects the gallbladder to the common duct is called the cystic duct. Importantly, acute cholecystitis occurs because something blocks the flow of bile out of the gallbladder by blocking the cystic duct. Most of the time, this is due to a stone that gets impacted or stuck in the cystic duct. It can also be due to abnormal thickening of the bile that can occur in patients that do not eat for a prolonged period of time. Rarely, it can be due to a tumor or some other process invading into the cystic duct and blocking it in that way. So as interventional radiologists, we treat acute cholecystitis by simply advancing a thin plastic tube or catheter through the liver and into the gallbladder. In this way, we're able to drain the infected bile outside of the body into a gravity drainage bag. This decompresses the gallbladder and relieves the obstruction, and this allows the patient to improve without needing surgery. So what happens next, and what will happen next to Ms. Ruth Bader Ginsburg? So there are several options. One option is that when the infection cools down, she eventually has her gallbladder removed surgically, and this is the definitive management of acute cholecystitis, known as cholecystectomy. Sometimes the patients come back to the interventional radiology service, and we check to see that the bile is flowing normally from the gallbladder into the gut. If this is the case, we actually consider removing the tube at that time, and this will solve the episode of acute cholecystitis. Unfortunately, there is a risk of the process of acute cholecystitis returning. Therefore, we weigh out the risks and benefits and come to a decision along with the patient and the patient's family. For some patients, we do have to leave the tube inside the gallbladder indefinitely. The patient will simply return every two months for an exchange of their tube. Lastly, I want to mention there are some novel ways of treating the gallbladder without surgery. One method is when interventional radiologists use a technique known as cryoablation to coapt and occlude the gallbladder. This is a treatment where we take a needle and literally freeze the gallbladder until it can no longer fill with bile. It's important to note this treatment is in a research phase and IR physician scientists have been able to demonstrate safety and clinical success in small groups of patients. So there you go. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the Supreme Court Justice, was recently diagnosed with acute cholecystitis and likely underwent an interventional radiology procedure known as cholecystostomy tube placement at Johns Hopkins Hospital. You guys heard it here first at Sorel RMD. Thanks for watching.